Here I am going to teach you how to create uh, repeat patterns using Corel Draw. So to create a repeat pattern, firstly you will need a grid. For that you have to select the graph paper tool from the shapes tool. Okay, under the shapes tool here. Okay, if you drag out this flyout, you will find the graph paper tool okay and in the property bar this is a property bar in the property bar for the graph paper tool you have to select five rows and five columns and after that you have to drag and draw the graph paper okay so here you can see there are five rows and five columns now firstly you have to decide what kind of repeat pattern you want to create okay so here i am showing you how to create a three-fourth drop okay so for this you have to take a horizontal guideline from the ruler that you see here on top okay and in the first row of the graph paper place this uh, guideline exactly at three-fourth distance okay so you can see in the first row this much of the top portion is three-fourth of this box here okay now you have to select the entire graph paper okay and then you have to open the object menu come down to look for the group command Okay, under this you will see one option called as ungroup objects. Okay, so when you do that, keeping the graph paper selected, it will break the graph paper into individual boxes. Now you have to drag and select all the boxes in the second column using pick tool and then slowly you have to bring it down and place it at the position of guideline here okay so by doing this you have moved the second column by three-fourth distance you have to follow the same procedure for the fourth column so you can see that the second column and fourth column are down by three-fourth distance so at this level, at the point of the guideline, on the right hand side, if you want, you can take polyline tool or bezier tool and draw one short horizontal line. Okay, this is to indicate that the boxes of the second column and fourth column were moved until this distance. Now, Take the motive that you have designed and one by one you start placing the motives exactly in the middle of each and every box. So once you place the motives in all the boxes it will look something like this. So you can see that in the second and fourth column the motives are projecting beyond the printable section. So once you have arranged, you can remove the graph paper tool. You can select the boxes one by one and you can delete all the columns and rows. When you do that, now your workspace looks like this with all the motifs arranged neatly according to 3 fourth repeat pattern layout. And you can see a line here also saying that to what distance you have moved the motifs. Now you can drag and select the entire layout using pick tool and go to object menu under group command you have to select group objects. After that you have to select crop tool and you can crop the top part and the bottom part of the repeat pattern to remove whatever portion of the motif is projecting outside the printable section. And on the right hand side, you can label this repeat pattern as 3 fourth drop repeat pattern.